Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. My, 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 my,
Amen. Mm-hmm. 
Minister Adams to come and go back for us in prayer.
our robe and a star on our crown. So we've got to live our lives to please the Lord. I want to greet you this morning in the precious name of Jesus. I want to give God thanks that we are still alive and well. And though there are many around us being plagued and being affected by the virus, we are still, you know, we are still not yet affected. And so for that we can give God praise. For that we can give God the glory. And for that we can continue to pray because we know that the Lord is still with us and he's still watching over his people. And we've got to continue to live our lives to please his name. I want to greet our leaders who are with us this morning. I want to greet especially Minister Young who will be bringing the word of God for us this morning. Can you give her a big round of applause? Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want to also greet my wife, Minister Williams. Amen. I want to greet Minister Adams as she has brought the opening prayer. And all our brothers and sisters in Christ, we give God thanks for you this morning. I want to also acknowledge our musicians. Give a big round of applause for them. Yes. And they have to continue to give worship while they play the music right through the service. So when some of us get great, they are always on duty. So we, we've got to continue to pray their strength that God will use them and continue to make them a blessing to us and to his kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to acknowledge our moderator for today, Sister Rochelle, and just about everyone. We want to greet our members who are, the children who are with us this morning, very few in number, but we're glad that you are with us this morning. Praise God. And for our Sister Shirley, Always a pleasure seeing you in the house of the Lord. So good to have you again with us as we continue to pray your strength that you grow and continue to grow in the Lord. For this week, the main announcement we have is um, that on the 30th, Minister Monroe will be celebrating her anniversary. And so we want to continue to pray her strength. And for those who can give her a visit, you know, today, just continue to be there. Give, be in her corner and just continue to pray her strength because God is with her. And God is not going to leave her at this time. And so we will just have to continue to reassure her and just continue to pray her strength. Praise God. On the second Sunday, we will be having a special meeting with all our brothers and sisters in Christ, all the members here of the Church. And so I want you to prepare for that. Uh, come out in your numbers and it will really be a special time as we try to talk with each other. Because of COVID, we have had a family meeting for the longest while and uh, so many other things. And I don't even know how you are coping. You don't even know how I am coping. Sometimes you see me and sometimes you don't. And sometimes I don't see you. But God is able. Amen? And though we can connect through WhatsApp, it's totally different when we let down our ear, when we sit together and begin to talk about our own struggles. So God bless you as we continue to pray each other's strength and continue to live our lives to please the Lord. God bless you, our moderator.
we are not as one of them every day. So it's kind of like you go in sick, because we probably have been waiting that way. So I keep going in sick, and I say, my God, I feel weak. But God, Daniel fasted, and Daniel got result from the first day of prayer was on Saturday. And I, and, I, and I keep away from red meat. I keep away from a lot of starch. I don't eat any rice and wheat, any dumpling. And I say, Lord, sustain me. I don't know if I can go to work, so stay here because this time I need it. I need to hear from you and I need some transformation, some change in my life. God, I'm not at the place where I used to be. God, I want to get back to the place where I first found you. And I say, I wait and I fast. And brethren, let me tell you something. You see, if you're not serious about God, don't go back fast. Because I want to go time to give and come to the real me. It's tomorrow my fasting. And I tell you since we was on the machine and mighty God. I feel some pain in my back. And I said, oh wait, this is what this man back pain. I feel some pain in my neck. But at the time you have to stop and you have to say, Are the you kill me and sickness is not at you? Where you come from, you are address. Reverse. And as I said, I just feel the pain soups. And I say yes. See, I don't know anybody sees, but the Lord rebuked you. You're not going to come to the real me. Because I must get a testimony from this fast. And you know, brethren, I start seeing some changes already. Yes, man, I start seeing some changes already. I said, for God be the glory. Great things he has done. And so, when he called me, I was tempted to say, well, I don't think I can manage, but you know what? The Holy Spirit say you are not with it in your strength. Go in the strength of Almighty God. And He will sustain you. I say thank you, Jesus. I'm depending on you. I am depending on you. And it's not about me, but it's all about you. And so my topic this morning, as the scripture has been read away, well, my topic this morning is God will not give you more than we can bear. A lot of persons are going to try in times now. But it's not about the trying times that you're going to because the Bible tells you the last day you're going to see these things. There will be famine on the land. There will be pestilence. Man will turn from the lovers of, 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 of God and turn to themselves. If never a time I see people wicked and terrible, it is now. What the Bible tells us, look up. The word of God tells us that we should redeem the time. Redeem the time now because the days are evil. And so I lift my eyes up to the instruments from my head. As my head don't come from nowadays, but the Lord who made heaven and earth. Sometimes I don't want to over manage, I don't want to over survive. But every time the days are you God show. Every time I feel sick, him show him in, in the sick room. Every time I hear bad news, it just jumps to that. And I say, God, I will worship you. I will live my life to please you. I'm going to live my life to please the Lord. It is not easy, brethren, but it is possible. Praise God. My message will come from I will explore on verse 13. No temptation will overtake you except such as common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able? But with the temptation, we also make the way of escape that you may be able to leave it. And a lot of times I say, but God, why you have to cause me to go through all of this? Why, God? Why? And I know a lot of you ask that why a lot of times. But God is not going to give us more than we can bear. As in, there is a way of escape. Every time the challenge comes, God shows up on the scene. And there is always a way of escape. And temptation it, it is inevitable. But even to temptation is the problem. And let us be heed to the temptation. And it causes us to shed tears. But God have mercy on us and help us. That you will be steadfast and who will always about in your word as your word is comfort. Ever since the fall of the 
fall in the garden, humanity has had trouble. Jesus made it clear that trouble was part of living in the world. But God will not give you more trouble than you can handle. Because God is not a giver of trouble, He is a giver of life. The scripture passage was written to the Christian church in Corinth after Jesus' death and resurrection. Corinth was a town with lots of people from different places and backgrounds. They worship idols, they practice prostitution, temple prostitution, which is the wickedest one. Drunkenness, it is this pagan that made of the Christian, made of the first Christian church in Corinth. And in the following, Jesus, they were called to give up their former religion, religious practice. The problem was that they were tempted, they were tempted just by being, being in Corinth. Because of what was happening, they were the first church, but they were tempted just by being here. Sometimes temptation overtake us because of what we did. Satan will entice 
surprise us with the things that you know we desire. I want the flesh one. That is what Satan is going to use to tempt us. If Satan wants to make love money, he might go take with money. He might make money come in our way. And nothing is wrong with having money. Nothing is wrong with being rich. God wants us, God wants us to be rich. He don't want us to be struggling because he said a thousand cattle and deals that belong to him and we're a joint here for him. So he wants us to be rich. But it's the way we get the riches. And so Satan, when he went to Jesus, he said, You're hungry, man. This morning, you're coming to dinner bread, you know? And the Lord had to rebuke him. He said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And he went away and he came back. Don't think when you overcome one temptation, the enemy gone. He's coming back with another one. And then he said, Boy, she go over there on your knees. This one, I don't try one next time. And he came back. And he said, Look at my, my God. Look at all these things. You know, so we can't make you have them who oh, dear Satan. He created the world, he created the earth, but yet he forgot to tell God. So look here. All these things we can't do you now. Just follow our worship. Hallelujah. But he was rebuked again. He was rebuked. He said, you if you can do this thing, you know. He told me about the ear, but you were saying, the ear gel, you know. The ear gel will, let, will, 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 will keep you unless you're going to shoot against a stone. <laughs> and so they give him a walk of a breeze with me, you know. The devil will come in subtle. He will come in as a way where you're not expect. And he won't come freezing with you. He won't show you, yes, man, you can do it. No, no, no. You can't do that little thing in the car when you're in the car. You know, you're in the car. You know, you're in the car. You know, you're in the car. I can remember some time ago. I had a friend. And we were talking about something. That's why we tried to keep up with a sinner friend and all this. And I need to go to the car. We just shocked them out sometimes when they were cooking some food. She said, you know. We can't get food. Yeah, my dear, dear. We have to hear my spirit. Can we kill them any other thing coming to my temple? And if you must stand up, you know, if it's something you will fall for anything, surely there are appearance of evil. And this friend came to me and I we were talking. And he just shared this story. Now, if you know that you're a Christian, you will respect me if you have to talk certain things in my presence. And so we don't need to ask friend. And the person come around with him and you go like you over there and everybody. Come around with him, tell him to pray. Everybody I mean, you see me know you're not Christian, but you say yes, but I'm not everybody. I'm a peculiar person. I'm a set apart. I'm a royal priest one. I'm a holy nation. And the Bible tells you, one can chase a thousand. Me alone can chase one thousand. And so I was a, the person was offended by just saying that. What brethren, as I said before, if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. And so when the devil come to tempt Jesus, he was with you. But he came back time and time again. But he was still with you. And so we have to have the word, you know, we ask so when the devil come, we can't tell him, say, thus say the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hebrews 4 and 15 says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all point tempted as we are yet without sin. When we are tempted, this is when we have the promise and found in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as a common, as is common to man. No feel like you alone have got through temptation. No feel like you alone have challenge. So nobody got to find excuse and tell them and say, boy, I got me good money because I know you alone have sexual issue. I know you alone have money problem. You all want to pick the challenge. But guess what? You have to the temptation when the devil come. We build the enemy. 
Sister Joy and Sister came here. And she said, Listen, my sister, this said, This morning, I'm so feeling right up on me. I said, I have to rebuke it. I said, You what? We are rebuke it for God created you that way. It is not true. You are. We know because you are inside. We are not because you are inside because God created you that way. We are rebuke it for. Put it under subjection, my sister. No, no, I'm not feeling that feeling, but feel, feel, put it under subjection. If you know what you're not married. Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. The things that we want to write us, I know. That's why I'm going to watch a movie. And that's why I'm going to entertain certain parliament. We come in our house, but when you see the couple go down, we're not going to put it under subjection. We're not going to go down. And then sin, and we have a God of my ball and say, God, forgive me. When we go say anyone from the earth, presume your sin. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And so, brethren, it will happen to you. But since you know, say, I live for God. Bring your kids when you go. I don't have to put it on a subject and I have to review it to the woman. As the sister say, I'm inside, I'm say, I'm so bad for you too. So put your body on a subject, Shani. There is no temptation that is going to come upon you that you can't bear. There is always a way of escape. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. An amazing example of this is when Daniel was tempted to wipe out Nabal and all his men in a fit. My God. When you read 1 Samuel chapter 25, you will understand what we're talking about. He was angry, thus taking vengeance into his own hand. But God sent Abigail, Nabal's wife, to intervene on David, to intervene, and David escaped the temptation. Now this man, that is another thing that I'm messaging. This one of them take care of me, take care of you and your people. Baby. Me, help, me help you, me assist you. The city with your life stuck and everything was not destroyed. You're going to insult me. Hmm? And so here we got angry. But I began this way to learn about it. When, 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 when David was on his way with his, his men to destroy Nabal and his city men there, Abigail learned about it and Abigail mounted on her ass and she went. And she bowed down before and said, Man of God, my God, have mercy. Do we shed any blood? No come in this bloodshed, no, no fall in your heart. Sister Joy, sometimes when you take your last and you go feel it hungry, baby. They be in a trouble and you go take your money and you give them. You never let them give them. And then see them one day and they tear you down. Know. It's hard. They be in a problem and you assist them. And they still let them tear you down. Know. It's hard. And so they you say, look here, man. Cuss them out here. Yeah. No, do not feel it. When you see them fall in a trap, but you also do it and help bury them. But what God says, forgive, forgive. Don't heed to the temptation. When your heart is afraid of it, do not eat. But God is it when you heed to the temptation that you are going to see. And so Abigail intercepted David and pleaded that he, 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 he did not carry out his bloodshed. She said, may you be, and David said to her, may you be blessed for your good judgment and for keeping me from bloodshed this day and for avenging myself with my own hand. Leave vengeance to God. He will repay. Praise God. God never gives us temptation, but he does give us a way of escape. Troubles, we have troubles in our life. God, 
will not give you more trouble than you can handle. However, life will dish out horrible things where people find themselves in despair, crying out, I can't handle this. I want to put time to all out and say, God, we can't do that one day now. We can't manage that one day, God. Ever since the fall of the garden, humanity has trouble. Example, sickness, tragedy, violence, and death. These are the results of sin. Jesus made it clear that trouble was part of living in the world, and he was the remedy, not the source. John 16 and verse 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heed. I have overcome the world. Take heed, brethren. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And so we have overcome us today. When Jesus fell down on the cross, he could have lied on the same place, you know. He could have said, let me have all of this, but let me not have sin. He could have stayed there. But he got up to show us that when we fall, he just said, we're not going to fall enough. But when we fall, rise up again. Brush off yourself and rise up. We are going to make mistakes. We are going to think what this please God. But as soon as you acknowledge it, get up and brush it. Enough time to fall down, you know. Enough time to cuss out people in my heart. Enough time to say, I wish you, I wish you fall. And so the word of God said, so we sin in our thoughts and in our deeds. And every time we sin, we what we do, you know, in our thoughts. And so I have to repent. So brethren, temptation and urging is inevitable. But we have begged to know his temptation when it comes. Show me the appearance of evil. I have overcome the world. And so we are overcomers. Praise God. Paul reaffirmed Jesus as a remedy in Acts 10 and verse 38. Our God and Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And how he, he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. God is still with us today. And we can do great things. God has never left us. We turn the back and we go and do a second thing and then we come back. But when you come back, he's still there with open arms stretch out. He has never left us. And so we can go up with temptation. The devil wants us to fail. The devil wants us to lose hope. Especially in this time in COVID, a lot of persons are faint hearted. A lot of persons are losing their faith. But God says, He will take care of us. Even we have, if we have to go back to the days of Egypt, when the plague and the death angel come, God sent the angel to, to seal the doors with the, with the, with the blood. Over the lentil and the new post, that when the dead angel comes, he will pass over. So God will protect us. Don't get the that in our world yourself about COVID. God is going to protect us. He said he will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. So if you mind on the one God, you're not going to get protected. Virgin, he said more than ever now. He said to me, let me kill us out here. Let me skeptic where, where sin is concerned. It's still in the flesh, you know, so it may happen. But we're very skeptic. Let me, let me be extra careful about the things that we say about the things that we do. The 
because I can't afford for this last day and I lose it. After I'm from here, 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 so we're very skeptic. Let people want to right to our holy land door. Land door. Yes, we don't want to no one shall see God. So we don't be a big man in the matter. We just want to be in a God arm every day, 24 7. We just want to rock the world. We want to feel him hard beat every day. I just want to chase us that God. Thank you, my sister. I'm just chasing after God. They're running down. Because we can't afford to lose out now. I've come too far. Leaning on the Lord. Trusting in His holy word. And He never feel me yet. I don't feel Him. He never feel me yet. And so, but I will keep trusting in you. I will not lose hope now. I'm imploring to those that is out of God and Christ. Coming low, these are the last and trying days. We need to redeem the time. Praise God. If the righteous can scarcely make it, then what's the unbelieving? We scarcely make it. But we are holding on to God and changing time. Because He said He honors His words more than His name. And so we believe in the report of the Lord. We trust God's word because our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways are not his ways. As far as the east is from the west and heaven is from the earth, so are God's ways towards us. He has good intention towards us. And so we can go through hard times and hard things will come upon us. God does not give us hard things. He does this in two ways. God gives us tests and come on. A lot of us are afraid of tests because they can be real scary. One got you some tests sometimes when we look back and see the couple times and say that. When we, at the beginning of the test, we say, no, sir. You can't make it to the one yet. But you see, when you come out and you overcome, they say, I really mean that. I mean, I mean, you're over there. God always provides us with this thing. So God gives us test. Even though it's scary, face the challenge with him. Face the challenge. Because God gives us these tests for our own good. They expose what is inside of us. So many times if some things don't to us, we never know what's inside of us. And God wants to pull out what is inside of us. And so he allows us to go through the test. Some of us, if challenge don't come upon us, we don't pray. And we pray earnestly when the challenge comes. And when God comes to you, we say, What did you say? We could have prayed, sir. The other night, in the, the, the port more um, prayer thing that, that, that power of faith is doing. I took up the challenge. I don't know every night. And last week, I mean two nights. And one day night, I didn't come break, other I did it. And he said, Nicky, I'm going to sell him. Yeah. But he said, pray about it. You have no thing to pray about. You have to pray about your challenge. You have to pray about yourself. You have to pray about where you want from. You have to pray about your life. You have to pray about how you are growing and grace. You have to pray about your children. There. What are the things there? And he said, I'm chewing on. And I called Reverend French. And I said, Reverend French, you want to join us? And she said, yes, ma'am, you're tired about, you know, I feel all right, that's all the way. You're tired about, we join. And we pray. And at the end of the hour oh, and a half, we never know. Said, so, so, then you want to pray more than what I'm praying. Because when you're praying, you know, things keep coming. When you're praying, when, mighty God, sister, thank you. When the spirit of your witness and things start coming and you deserve it, you mean, you, you, you come in like you're not even realize it. You say you're going to pray for one hour. You just a pray, 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 you don't remember tiredness or sleep. And when you finish praying, say, my God. Me never know what you're going to pray so long, I told you. One and a half hour. 
And we now repeat foolishness and we now say no fool. The end of the day, we are praying. And when we finish, Reverend Frank said, and like we really said, Reverend Frank said, My God, all I'm there for is our now. She said, My God, I'm feeling like I just start. Yes, brethren, it's some trials not that way. We know prayer. And so I want to pull out that, you know, some people in our the church and they're my prayer warrior, you know. But you see, because they're not getting called to prayer, and you see, because they just sit up down, everything just goes on. And you see, no, sir, every, every week, they're going to minister young come prayer, minister John come prayer, sister, sister, Julie come prayer. This is 
evidence in both the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. In the Old Testament, God gave the law to Moses, and no one has been successfully in keeping it except Jesus.
first love us. God gave us hard things to do so we can do them together. And we can always handle that when we put our trust in Him, the Lord bless you. Praise God. the Lord. I want to invite you to stand as we bring the service to our close. I want to give God thanks for his word to our hearts today. Indeed, temptation comes to us whether we think we are holy or whether we are outside of the will of God. It will come. It's natural, you know, and you cannot even predict when it's going to come. But sometimes you're in your, your best moments and that's when you are tested and that's when you are tempted. But today we know that God is with us. And he gives us strength that we can endure. I want us to join together as we sing hymn number 679. This song is in the children's section, but as I look through the words today, indeed this song bigger than children. Because we need to understand this today, you know, as we go through our different trials and testing that we can overcome and God can help us in our times of weakness and our times of trial. And so I want to give God thanks for his servant that she has shared, you know, the word today. And we want to pray her strength that God will continue to give her that courage to continue and to be brave to do his will. Because indeed, even to do God's will, we are tempted not to do it. And so today, we are, you know, we want to pray for each other's strength that we will continue in this, in this work. Heal not to temptation. For healing is sin, each victory will help you some other to win. So fight manfully onward, dark passions of you. 
protected even by their own children, their loved ones, their family, their co-workers and others. Mighty God, that sometimes they feel so discouraged. Sometimes they feel to even get even. Sometimes they feel to use the curse words. I pray their strength this morning. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you will touch and you will do a work in the name of Jesus. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you lift up a standard this morning. Break every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And cause, oh God, that your people will stand fast in the liberty wherewith you have made us free. Give us, oh mighty God. And Father, in this season, we're praying for a fresh touch of your Holy Spirit. Because it's only the anointing that is going to break the yoke and give us the victory again and again. So we pray for the anointing this morning. Oh, mighty God, the flesh wants to enjoy the pleasures. And the flesh wants to give in to everything. But we pray for our spirits this morning. That our spirits will come alive. That our spirit will be ready to worship. That our spirit will be fed. And our spirit will thrive. And our spirit shall conquer. And our spirit shall have dominion over our bodies this morning. To keep us in check. And to cause us to live for you, living God. Let your Holy Spirit guide our action. Let your Holy Spirit guide our thoughts. Let your Holy Spirit guide what we say from day to day. So that in our lives, our lives will give you glory. And our lives will give you praise. Bless me this, uh, this morning as she shares your word so timely. I pray another portion of your spirit upon earth this morning. I pray her strength, Lord, because it's in our times of weakness that your strength is made perfect. And so we declare your strength over her life today. Carry her through the battle, mighty God, and cause her to come out victorious. Cause her to come out, oh God, with a spirit of celebration because she has overcome, she has stood the test, and she can prove you this morning. Cover her under your blood, mighty God. Protect her from the, from the attacks of the enemy. Every word of every wishes uh, that set out to, to attack this morning. We send them notice. Uh, oh God, we send the fire of heaven to burn and destroy. And let your servant do what you have called her to do. Oh God, so that we can join with her in giving you glory. Because we know that you do it all things well. Bless your people collectively today. As we leave from the sanctuary, go with us, great God. Let your peace remain in our hearts. And let your blessings be upon us always. In the name of Jesus. If there's anyone with any special prayer request today, we're inviting you to come quickly. I see Minister um, Adam's hand. God is able this morning. Come, come, come and sit with us. Bring our cheer, Brother Raj. We want to pray with her this morning. We don't know the circumstances, but God is a deliverer this morning. And Lord, pray for, for us that we will stand against temptation. Somehow in my spirit, I know that someone has a special need. Hallelujah. If you have a need this morning, God is able. And I invite you to come as we pray and believe God for you this morning. Because indeed, He's able. Hallelujah. He's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, rooted and grounded by the Holy Ghost. And if you want to go to heaven, yes, got to be rooted and grounded. My God, rooted and grounded. Oh, in the name Jesus. 
of Jesus. Lord, as your daughter sits before us this morning, God, she was the first to indicate that she has a special need. And God, though we don't know what our needs are this morning, we are glad that you are the all-sufficient God. And so we place Minister Adams in your hands. We pray for her strength. We pray for her health. We pray for her finances. We pray for her comfort. We pray that her joy will be full in the season. We pray that you enter her in. We pray that you be a source of protection. We pray that you will be a comfort when no one else is there. And I pray God that the enemy will not distract her. And that God she will press on towards the mark for the prize which is in you Christ Jesus. I pray for her strength this morning God. And I pray mighty God that you will heal every broken pieces. And you will give her hope in the time that she's going through. I pray for her feet this morning, God. That Lord, you will strengthen them. You will heal all about this. Shako Bessi Katori di Alababashi. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We rebuke sickness. We pray for fresh strength. We pray that every era of her life will work according to how you have created. It. Every tissue, every sinews, mighty God, every bloodstream, every, every vein in this body, we pray that it will work and function. Yes, God, she will walk in obedience. She will walk to your house. She will walk in a victory because the healing power has been upon her. We seal her in your blood this morning, God. No weapon, God, that is formed against her. We declare them that they will not prosper. We render them powerless in the name of Jesus. And we declare her whole in the name of Jesus. Wholeness, mighty God. Wholeness in the name of Jesus. Strength. Yeah, God. Strength. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a woman with the issue of blood, reach out and touch you. Virtue left your body. And so God, we pray that the virtue, the virtue from the wounded hands will touch your daughter this morning and bring her fresh strength and courage in this time, in this season. And she will try out. Holy Ghost, she will triumph. I pray for her family this morning, her children. It is our joy that they will surrender to you. And I declare that they will surrender. Let nothing hold them, mighty God. Let nothing cause them to, to delay. Cause them, oh God, that they will move now into obedience to give you their lives totally and watch your work. We declare it done in the strong name of Jesus. God, as your people stand at this altar, Sister Alma, Sister Trinette, Brother Carter, Brother Reed, Holy Ghost, Sister Nicholson, Curly Nicholson, Sister Pat McKenzie, Sister Valerie, I see them in your blood this morning, God, and I declare that whatever they are going through, that it shall be well. We declare that the power of God will be in your life. Sister Valerie, the finances is under attack. And you see the challenges that you have been going through. It's not the COVID that caused it. It's the plan of the enemy. But I declare the favor upon, me, upon your life this morning. The favor of God. And what the enemy thought for God, we declare that it shall be for your good. We declare, mighty God, that you will never lack. We declare that everything that the enemy has stolen, that you, our God, will restore them. Not just in ordinary measure, but full measure, press down, shaken together and running over. You have been a giver. You have to extend your love your, 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 and compassion to others. And we are declaring that God will return to 
over in this season. Your household shall be blessed. Your children shall be blessed. And you shall triumph. Your husband shall be blessed because the Lord is upon you. You will never lack, my sister. Go forth and rejoice. It's your winning season. Hallelujah. It's your winning season. Don't complain and look at the defeat and the attack. But look at the victory. There's victory lying ahead. Take it this morning in the name of Jesus. Sister Pat, we pray that the Lord will cover will you. That the Lord will wrap you in his love. Sometimes you get lonely and discouraged. You feel like you are nobody's child. But you have the Lord of hosts with you this morning. And the God of Jacob is your refuge. And sometimes it seems like even your own children not giving you the kind of respect and love that you want. And you are seeking it from them and you are not getting it. But we declare this morning that whatever your needs and desires are, the Lord will just pour it out. Fill you up. That you will not seek oh, for anything in any other places but you will always see the hand of God in your life I pray your courage this morning I pray for coverage over you I pray for your protection even in this community and wherever you go I pray that you will never feel the hands of the enemy because God will have hide you in the hollow palm of his hands and we declare that you are protected we declare that God is with you and you shall not be destroyed continue to pray continue to stay on your knees don't worry about the trials and the testing don't worry about what the enemy is saying in your ears begin to pray stay at the feet of Jesus even on your job begin to pray yes begin to pray pray in your heart my sister because there is victory victory God has victory for you and you love God you love people and you are so affected you are so affected from time to time because you reach out to others but you don't see them reaching back to you but continue to hold on God is with you and he's here to give you strength to support you God bless you this morning Continue to stay faithful. You are near and now to the end that when you first started. Don't give up now. Don't give up. Wait for the shop. Stay in the will of God. Draw nearer to him in prayer. And you shall overcome. I put your grandchildren in your in God's hands this morning. And all your loved ones. Yes. Sometimes when things don't flow the way you want it to flow. It trouble your very heart. But God is with you. You see your pain, you see your hurt. And he will comfort you. Continue to draw on his strength. He's your hope in the times of trouble. Hallelujah. Brother Carter, stand firm in this liberty. Stand firm in the living God. Yes, you are our desired to go to heaven. But you can only go if you remain rooted and grounded. So stand upon the promises of God. Stay in his word, in his will. And continue to watch and be the peace in your own soul. All will call you now and surrender. You continue to stand. Pray that she will surrender. And the other daughter overseas, pray that they will surrender all. Because as for you and your house, your desire is to serve God. Yes, and the enemy will distract you sometimes when they are not living. It weaken your testimony and you feel like you can't tell somebody about Jesus because it's like Jesus going to your house. But you continue to trust God. Let him be in your heart and weather the storm with him. Hallelujah, Brother Riley. The battle is hard. Sometimes the pressure is so much that there is a God. And he's, all he's asking for is for your obedience. If you surrender all to him, if you surrender to him in all your fullness, if you give him your all, God is going to weather the storm for you. God is going to fight your battle and you shall overcome. I declare that the favor of God will be upon your finances. Every debt that you have, I declare that they will be paid. Every bill that comes that seems impossible to pay, I declare that they are not paid through the blood of Jesus Christ. I declare that as you do your job, the Lord will be your source of protection. Yes, and when vast money not even work, God will provide it that the boss will be paid so that you can get your portion. I declare it this morning. And I pray for the wisdom of God upon your life. 
that you will spend wisely. You will learn the ends need because the Lord is with you. God is with you. I pray his coverage upon your family this morning, upon your children, and I declare that your home soul is blessed through the power of the living God. Brother Reed, it's time to move to another level. It's a time to step up. It's a time to be bold. It's a time to reach out to God. You know when you stand and you talk to the patron on the corner, you do it well. But God is saying, I want you to move to another level where you can stand up and declare that I am God. Where you can stand up and tell somebody about what my word says. You can do it. If you see the one verse, read it and say, God, help me that I will be able to share this word with somebody else and to bring them joy, to bring them courage, to bring them hope in this trying time. And I pray your strength. I pray for your finances. I pray that you will never lack. You will always be guarded. Always be protected. Always be sustained. Because God is on your side. Walk in obedience, my brother. Though the challenges are great, the Lord is greater than the challenge. So you hold on to him and he will carry you through. Hallelujah, rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Sister Alma, you have been waiting on the Lord. God said to tell you, I am already doing I have got it all in control. Don't worry about what you see in the natural. I, God, have it all in control in the spiritual. And so I lift your faith this morning. I lift that your spiritual eyes will be open. That you will see the will of the Lord in this very season. I declare that your prayers will be answered so that you can see God at work. You have been waiting. You have been waiting. The God is already answered. He has already answered. And because he has answered, you need to give him praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Thank him for the breakthrough. Thank him for the deliverance. Thank him for saving your family. Thank him for opening up close doors. Because he has already done it. You may not see it in the natural eyes. And the enemy won't tell us and all the doors will open. But God has opened them. So begin to celebrate. Church, can you celebrate with God this morning? We believe that there's an open door. And we claim it done in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will walk through the open door. Your family shall be blessed. Why? Because of your faithfulness to God. Your faithfulness to this church. Your faithfulness in being kind to others. Your faithfulness in reaching out to others. Even in your pain. Even in your tiredness. You are not saying no. And because of that, your family shall be blessed. And you shall be blessed. God bless you this morning, my sister. Walk in obedience. Don't look at the problems. Look at the one who is able to solve the problems. And we'll give you courage to, can, to continue. God bless you. Sister Juliet, it is a trying time. Sometimes there are discouraging moments. Sometimes you are tempted and tested on every side. But I'm glad that God is with you. And you know God for yourself. I'm glad you know that. I'm glad you are a woman of prayer. And you have been reaching out, not just for yourself, but for others. And I declare this morning that God will do something special in your life. I declare that God will open up something special for you. That you will walk in it and be able to celebrate. I pray that God will try up your tears. Some of the tears that you cry, they were not necessary. But the enemy has put so much pressure and you have cried. But God is able to dry your tears this morning. He is able to give you joy in your times of mourning and weeping. He is able to comfort you. Draw on him, my sister. And be faithful to the very end. You have been faithful over very few things. But the Lord wants to make you ruler. And the Lord wants to give you more. Open up and receive of him this morning. In the strong name of Jesus. Open up in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your blessing. Receive what God has in store. Receive what God has in store for you. I declare that you are blessed. I declare that you are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Go forth and 
conquer. Go forth and walk in your in your freedom. Go forth and walk in the victory that God has given to you. Holy Ghost, fight on your behalf this morning. Fight on your behalf, Jesus. Fight on your behalf. The battle gets so intense sometimes, and she's weak. Oh God, the fight! Holy Ghost, fight on your behalf. Give her the victory, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Church, we've got to be rooted. Rooted and grounded. God bless you, my sister. Seek after him while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. God is looking on and he's waiting on you. Sister Shirley, I pray your strength this morning. I pray for courage in this season. I pray for anointing in the name of Jesus. I declare that you shall overcome. I declare that you will walk. Obedience. You're not going to see at this level for long, but you will seek for higher ground. The songwriter said, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on an unstable land. A higher plane than I have ever found. Lord, plant my feet. I pray for your feet. Mash it up. I pray for these feet that they will walk in obedience to the living God and they will seek for higher in Jesus' name. Bless her, Lord, Lord, 
mighty God, cause us to continue to be fruitful. Yeah, cause us to life and draw others to you. Even our children shall be blessed, shall be saved. Oh God, because of their faithfulness and their obedience to you this morning. See you, sister. Sister McLean in your blood this morning. And make her whole. Jesus' name. Sister Julian, continue to be faithful. God is the sign that you will walk before him and be perfect. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Be strong, my sister. Continue to be bold. Continue to walk in the will of God. You shall overcome in Jesus' name. Rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Bless me, Mr. Williams, this morning, God. Yes, God, take her into new avenues, mighty God. As she yields herself, Lord, to learn more of you, I declare that her knowledge will be open. I declare that she shall excel, that she will be an example to others. And Lord, your word will dwell within her richly, and she shall declare your word where she go, in Jesus' name. Oh! Oh, in the name of the Lord. If I did not touch you this morning, if I did not pray for you specifically, be assured that God knows your desires today, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. He will continue to bless you and do great things in your life. In Jesus' name. No one to Him who is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before his great eyes throne with exceeding joy to the only wise God be now dominion, majesty, and power until he comes and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great week. Continue to trust in him and give him your all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan, you can't get me again. Can't get me again. You will hold me down for a very long time. Wanted to go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I'm free. You come running after me, but you can't get me again. Satan, you can't get me again. You can't get me again. Hold me down for a very long time. Wanted to go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I'm free. You come running after me, but you can't get me again. Can't catch me again. You can't catch me again. Hold me down for a very long time. Won't let me go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I feel you come running after me, but you can't catch me. Say time you can't catch me again. You can't catch me again. You hold me down for a very long time. Won't let me go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I feel you come running after me. Can't catch me again. God bless you. God keep you and strengthen your Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Every long time, what you do?